Windows Movie Maker. We are going to create a short video using pictures in Window Movie Maker. So the first thing I want to do is to insert my pictures in the collections area. To do that, I move to the side taskbar, the movie taskbar, go under capture video, and click insert pictures. Now I'm going to go to my picture folder where I've saved my pictures. In order to select all the pictures I want to use, I'm going to click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last picture, and hit import. I have imported all my pictures. Now, in order to use these pictures in the slides below, I am going to hold, click and hold onto the picture and drag them one by one into the boxes below. You can also click on all of them, highlight all of them, and drop them in. You notice all the pictures showed up at one time. Okay, so now I have my pictures, but there are no words, there's no titles, and there's no transitions. So the first thing I'm going to do is add video transitions. So I'm going to go up to the top toolbar, click on the drop down arrow where it says collections, and I'm going to switch to video transitions. So that gave me the list of all the transitions I can use in this video. So I'm going to pick the transitions I would like to use. If you'd like to view what the transition does, click on it and hit play. So now, if I click on the first picture again and hit play, you can see I have my video. And so far my video has pictures and transitions. But I would also like my video to have words. Because my students are going to do a vocab use pictures to for vocabulary. Okay, now that I have imported the pictures with the transitions, I'm going to go to edit movie and I'm going to make titles or credits. Now I want to put a title on the selected clip. So I want it on my first picture. So I type out what I would like on there. And now you can change the animation and the text and font color. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to change my text, font, and color. And I like Common Sans. And I'm going to go with, let's try dark blue. Good. Now I'm going to change the title animation. Right now it's to fade in and out. And I like that one, so I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to done. Click, make sure I click on my picture I want it to go on and add title and movie. And you notice it switched me to the timeline view because it, titles can only be added to the timeline view. So here are my pictures and I write down below it as my title overlay for that picture. And I'm going to do this for each picture. Want for the second picture. I personally like to work in the show, in the story to, uh, view. And once again, change the text color. You notice it's the same font. I picked for the last one, so remembers which font I would like. I'm going to change this to red. I'm going to click the title I wanted to add on. I'm going to change my animation. I 
clicked on add title to the movie. Now you notice I have two titles down here now. I'm going to continue doing that until I have titles for all. Okay, now that I've added all the title overlays for each picture, I'm going to insert audio and music. So, in, so I'm going to go back up to the beginning to the left test bar, up number one, and go import audio or music. Now I'm going to use the sample music that comes with the computer this time. You can see here's the music file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it right down into the storyline. You can see it goes all the way through here, but I don't need that much. So I'm going to shorten it to the end of my video. You can also extend and shorten and extend any picture or title overlay by clicking on it, holding down, and moving left or right. Okay, now I'm going to watch my video by clicking the play button up here to see if it's what I'd like. I'm going to take this time to make any changes to the video before I save the file. I can also click on the blue full screen button to see it in a full screen mode. Now that the video is exactly what I'd like, I am going to save it. So I can either go to finish moving saved in my computer, save to CD, save in an email, to the web, or to a camera. I'm going to save it to my computer. I'm going to change the file name to sample movie. I'm going to make sure I browse and save it to my folder, either on the F drive or to a folder I set up on the desktop for the students to use. I'm going to click next. I want best quality for playback on my computer. If I want it to be on a DVD or another place to copy it on DVD for parents, I can hit more choices and change that. But I'm going to keep it for playback on my computer. Hit next and you can see it's saving the computer, saving the movie. It tells you estimated time, how much is saved, the file name and the destination. I'm going to click finish. I do not want to play the movie when I'm done. You have just created a movie using Windows Movie Maker. Explore, enjoy, and have fun creating many movies for and many projects in your class.